Hello and welcome my friend and then question why this my oil filter is black when oil filter is white or yellow in new one and what is the reason for that oil filter becomes black because when our engine is running and this oil what goes in through that hole in here and then out in this through that filter element in firstly oil goes in and then it goes out and why this filter is black the reason is that our engine inside inside parts like pistons they are really dirty because there is all time this fire and flames going on when engine is running and this is so this black material is like coal coal material those small uh, this fire particles what is this smoke and so on and this black goes to this oil and then this black goes to this filter and now we can compare in really easily that this is new filter and this is like yellow or white and then this is totally black and when this is black the reason is that there is fire going inside in our engine when engine is running and then smoke particles goes to oil and then those smoke particles goes to this filter and then this yellow filter becomes black in this use when engine is running like in my case that kind of information to you and here we have this oil filter this is it is this part in here and next we open that okay and there is this my tool this oil filter tool and now I install this my tool in this position and now when I carefully I press that in down it goes nicely in there and then this opening direction is in that way in this way now this filter opens and we can look closer this part now we can see very well this my tool there's this cover and opening direction is in that way and then when I install my tool a little bit I have to install in and this is opening direction and now this filter it is it is free and then remember that this part this tool can be to be stuck and in that area it is good to take that away and we can also lubricate this part in oily because otherwise these two parts can be really stuck and they are difficult to take out remember that but now I rotate that in free now we have bigger view and now I rotate that and carefully this part takes contact in these hoses and that's a little bit movement and now this oil filter this full element is free and then we can go to look that closer this part and this is totally oily and use close with this part okay and then when I have take this my oil filter element away we can see this area is plastic and this is quite sensitive because there are some scratches now I have to take this old parts away and first thing is that I have to take this old filter element away and this looks like in that one and always it is good to compare that old part to new part and in now my case this is important that they are same size and it is interesting that this part this older part it is a little bit different shaped in that one than this one but I believe that these parts fits because length this area is same and also this diameter is same this is very important to check 
these things and also that there are holes in inside and they are same size. Now we can look, looks good. They are same size. And now I think that I can use this new part. And now when I take this old filter away, I have to also replace this oil, this gasket and seals in here. And I have in this my oil filter kit, there was inside in that there was three caskets. This is bigger one, it becomes in here, and then two smaller one but are in here, the smaller one, and this goes first one goes in that this area and that smallest one in here. Okay, and then there are there is this information that how we install that and there is I believe that some purpose that I believe that I have to like install this first gasket in here and then there is information that those two lines in here I believe that yes in this oil filter there are two lines in here and they means that those two lines what are in this my picture they must be in that level look it means that this my filter element when I install that in here this must to be so deep now I okay there's a little bit it is I need force now this line must be in here and I I press that more down okay now it clicks and now we can see that this second line is in hidden and then this upper one is in position this is critical and I need to actually a little bit force that now it's enough deep good and then second point is that this gasket it must to be in this second row in this cover and now we can see that this my old gasket is in okay second row yeah good and now I have to install this my black gasket in same position and I need one tool next now I need this sharp head hook tool because I have to take that old one away in this way I, I carefully I move that away in that point now I can compare that they are same size and this is new one and now when I install this new one it is good to install in here a little bit grease now now we check that we are just in the second row in here now I install that in here and there is small dent also like in information that in this position this my gasket goes and this is really critical now I rotate this my gasket in this position good and then I check that it is nicely in this way and now I I recommend that we use our oil can and I install in their oil in this way because this purpose is to lubricate this my gasket really well when I install this I press that switch and then oil goes in here good and then a little bit finger and now this my these threads are lubricant good and then I have in here two other these caskets one of in here 
And again, this tool is very easy. Now I, I rotate that old gasket away. And there is new gasket. And there is only one line in here. Good. And also in that area, it is good to install this engine oil. This is oil is like mobile one engine oil in here. Okay, good. And then a little bit finger things. And then final part. Put this in the smallest, smallest gasket. And this is tight. Okay, let's do it again. There is this old gasket. And then I install this new gasket in this position. Good, and now it's in position. And then we check that all of these gaskets, they are good and we can look closer. Okay, and now we can check that all gaskets are okay. This is this bigger one and like in row two of these thread holes in here. And then second bigger gasket is in here. And it is also nicely. And then final gasket, it looks like that one. And then final check is that we check that when there are those two black lines, that the second line is in same level like in here. And also we can see that this part where are those shape, they are in this position. Good. And now I believe that everything is fine and we can go to install this part back to engine. There is really this my oil filter hole and please, please be careful that do not drop anything sand or dirt is inside in here. That array is good to be also protect. And now when I have installed this new filter and those three caskets and also filter is enough deep in here, now I can carefully install that this part in here. And now it goes nicely. And firstly, I can rotate this my filter so deep then I, then I can rotate this with my fingers. Okay, and then I need again this my tool and rinse and I install the, my tool in here and then closing direction is in this way. Now I use my and now I use this my rinse so long then, then there is no any any big force. Now it rotates easily and let's go to look closer. This purpose is to rotate this cover so long that it's like stops. Now it stops. Now it's stopping position. Now when this rotation stops, now I need to take this torch friends tool in my hand. Okay, and here is really this my torch friends tool and now I check that there is 20 newton meters this force in the scale and then I need also this one adapter because now this my torch friends tool is like a little bit bigger this socket size and now I have in their specific adapter for fits in the smaller size. This is my bar and now I install my torch friends tool and now I rotate this my torch friends so much that, that there's 20. 20. Okay and now it seems that there is already 20 in this force because now this my tool says that there is enough force and we can look this my amounts in here. 
You can see in this my digital scale that that this 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 my tool says that there is force 22 and it says also the sound signal that now there is enough this torch in this oil filter cover. And then this final step is that I need to take this my parts away and this is critical critical thing because now this cover it is in this sorry this opening tool is in in my case this is stuck stuck in there. And now in my case this my tool is in, in here stuck the steel oil filter cover opening tool and I have to take this part away and now I can carefully carefully this is this is little bit difficult thing because this my tool is like stuck and I can also I can little bit bend okay now it opens well okay and I was lucky because I moved that little bit and now this my tool open nicely. Very nice. And this was this my information, my friend. And final step is always that I have to now add in engine oil in there and then start this engine. And I have to check next that there is no any oil leaks. And if there is any oil leaks, then I have to take these parts away and check this oil filter gasket that what is this gasket's position. And if this issue is still on, I have to replace all new oil filter parts. But I believe that everything is fine in this my oil filter area, that there is no any leaks. Okay, thank you my friend and see you in next movie.